How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on the Chromebook. Now, uh, very beginning, I have to explain that you cannot actually get Microsoft Office on the Chromebook. Okay, but what does come on the Chromebook is Google's version of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, which is Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Okay, these are three programs that run similar to the Office programs, but they're a more stripped down version. So, for example, if we were to take a look at um, Google Docs, uh, one thing that you would notice is that, um, in fact, let me just open it up because this wasn't what I thought it was going to look like. Um, Google Docs kind of looks like the 2003 version of Microsoft Office. Um, so, or it's it's very similar to what you see when you're writing an email. You have a very limited amount of, of options for editing. You have your basic bold, underline, italics. You have your alignment. You have your uh, spacing in terms of the line. Now you have a couple more options here. We have our edit, cut, copy, and paste. Um, insert images, equations, drawings, formatting tools. You have your word count. You do have, um, better have spell check. Can't live without that. Um, so this is basically what it looks like. And again, it's, it's, um, not your full, uh, like for example, Microsoft Office 2013 just came out. And so what you'll notice about that is they've added so many features in that now guess what you get a Chromebook uh, you're limited because you don't have nearly the features that you do have on the Microsoft Office 2013 so it's important to just keep these things in mind that's why I wanted to make this video that's why I titled it what I did because for those of you that are considering getting one you have to know that um, um, although you're getting these free programs Google Docs sheets and slides they are nowhere near the same quality that you are getting on a PC. So as long as you're not doing any heavy spreadsheets or heavy PowerPoints or heavy documents, you'll be fine. It's not going to be a big deal, but if you rely on these programs and you use them daily, guess what? Um, this will be an uncomfortable adjustment and you're going to lose a lot of features. So I want to make sure that you you know what you're getting yourself into before you jump in because um, I could literally see you buying it and going right back to the store and saying I can't use this. So once again, for just like maybe you want to, to build a super simple PowerPoint, maybe even something for family, um, this would work all right. You do have a basic spreadsheet program that you could do some basic things in and then you have your Google Docs. Again, it's the basics. If you use these programs daily, then these will not cut it. When, when I mean daily, if you use Microsoft Office daily, if you use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any of those on a regular basis, these may not cut it for you because it may not have enough of what you need to do uh, to use a lot of the advanced features. So, anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. Take care and have a good one.